Now, one of the reasons quoted for the failure of the deal was India's resistance to dual listing of the combined company shares in two different exchanges. Dual listing is something that will require the Indian rupee to be fully convertible. But what exactly does that mean and what are the repercussions of allowing this to happen? Well, here's a report where we tell you exactly that. It has indeed been a missed call, but the Bharti MTN deal has reignited the big debate on capital account convertibility and India's need to address the issue sooner than later. Capital account convertibility or CSE can be defined as the freedom to convert local financial assets into foreign financial assets and vice versa at market determined rates of exchange. In Bharti MTN case, capital account convertibility would have meant that shares of the combined entity could have been traded on two exchanges and capital could have flowed easily between different geographies of entity's operation. But the concerns are broader, as members of the Tarapur committee, which authored a report on the issue, point out. I mean, I do not see that uh, we need to have any more liberal capital account than we have right now. Uh, so two or three reasons. I think we are all seeing what has happened in the global financial markets. So deregulation, liberalization can also lead to crisis. Many, the, any amount of number, IMF has reports um, which its own economists have prepared. None of them find any positive correlation between the rate of growth and capital account liberalization. In other words, it does not seem to contribute to growth. Academics highlight that India is not ready for full capital convertibility because our financial markets are not mature enough to manage excess volatility. The real economy is not flexible enough to handle sudden shifts in capital flows. And for the RBI, overseeing the trinity of the managed exchange rate, independent monetary policy and a liberal capital account could get much tougher. While there is no visible consensus on the convertibility debate, the question is, should India Inc.'s global ambitions be held hostage due to this? There has to be a need for sector-specific flexibility. More and more companies would play important role in the expansion of telecom facilities in other countries. Given that situation, I think the regulators, particularly those who are not directly dealing with telecom, but they are Overall, you know, they are very important national regulators. They perhaps will have to revisit the provisions in a manner that it facilitates the presence of companies uh, in various countries rather than it stops. Even if exceptions have to be made, they cannot be on a company-to-company -company basis. A clearer policy for exceptions on a sector-wise basis or peculiar conditions could, however, be laid out. In Mumbai with Dipika Thaplial, Ragini Varma for NDTV Profit. Tubar.com